We are currently up in the mountains with the Northwest Overland Group one weekend before Christmas. And what better time to give you that long overdue Jeep Gladiator tour. To start with, this is a 2021 Jeep Gladiator Sport S with the Eco Diesel. I purchased this Jeep brand new with the goal of building an overland vehicle to explore the remote areas of the Pacific Northwest. Starting with the front of the Jeep, we chose the ARB Classic winch bumper to provide full protection from animal strikes. Inside the bumper, a worn 12,000 pound winch and ARB Solus LED off-road lights to help light up the night. Mounted on the hood is a solar panel by Cascadia 4x4 tied directly to the battery to keep it topped off. To handle the additional weight, we went with the AV 3-inch dual sport suspension with high capacity diesel springs and Bilstein 5100s. For the past 25,000 miles, we've been running 37-inch Nitto Recon Grapplers mounted to Method 701 wheels. The brakes have also been upgraded by Power Brake out of South Africa. To protect the side of the Jeep, we've installed the ARB rock sliders. This also gives us a small step for accessing things on the roof rack. For additional cargo space and storing lightweight gear, we've recently installed the roof rack made by Trail Racks. This rack is designed specifically for Jeep Gladiators with an Alucab canopy camper. In our opinion, it blends very well with the camper and improves the overall look of the Gladiator build. Inside the front of the cab is fairly stock with only the addition of an Expedition Essentials accessory dash mount to house our Zolio, our Midland radio microphone, and our cell phones. Since it's usually just myself, my wife, and small dog, we've opted to remove the rear seats and install a Goose Gear seat delete system. Above the seat deletes, we installed a Blue Ridge Overland Attic to store jackets, hats, and other lightweight gear. The seat delete also makes a great mounting point for the ARB 73 quart dual zone fridge freezer and to house the ARB twin air compressor. For shelter, we've chosen an Alucab Canopy Camper, a proven design around the world, and for additional coverage, an Alucab 270 awning. On the passenger side, we've installed an Alucab shower cube for showers and, um, you know, going to the bathroom. On the roof of the camper, we have dual 105 watt sun flare flexible solar panels to keep the battery topped off while in one place for multiple days. To improve handling, we've upgraded the rear sway bar to a Hellwig design, and since we're under here, might as well mention that there are ARB air lockers installed front and rear with aftermarket 410 gears. On the back of the camper to the left, we have a Venture Trail Gear propane bag that we'll also be using to store other gear and trash when a second propane bottle is not needed. On the camper door, we have a paper towel holder by Expedition Essentials, Molly panels by GP Factor, and a drop down table for meal prep from Front Runner Outfitters. Inside the camper, we've built custom wood storage benches to house all of our camping gear. Everything has a home. We've also decided to build a small tabletop for making coffee and meals when, uh, yeah, it's just cold and wet outside. Each bench has a door to access all of our camping gear, coffee maker, dry goods, all which are stored in front runner flat packs, and we've even got a drawer for our uh, silverware. Here we have a 12 volt push style switch that pressurizes the water spigot outside the camper for washing dishes and so on. And since we're out here, we'll also show you our uh, 12 volt plug-in, AKA our shore power. Mounted up front of the camper is our 13 gallon water tank by Alucab and below that our Trellino composting camp toilet. For running electronics like our hot water kettle, we have a thousand watt inverter that's mounted in front of the battery. To heat the camper, we have an awesome Dickinson Marine fireplace and a custom heat register with a 12 volt fan to help circulate the air. We have several of these Alucab Velcro uh, storage pouches throughout the camper. Still trying to uh, fill them all up. And uh, flip the hatch down and we'll show you the heat register from above. Helps circulate the air when, uh, when you have uh, both platforms down. 
To manage the camper's power system, we have the Redarc BC-DC and a cheap monitoring system. All the systems are switched using the Switch Pro panel, and everything runs off a 200 amp hour lithium battery. Completely isolated from the Jeep battery. And as you can see, lots of storage pouches throughout the camper. Having carpet throughout the camper gives you the option to organize the pouches wherever you want and attach patches to remember where you've been. Up on the bed itself, we've upgraded the mattress to an X-Ped inflatable, and depending on the season, we use a combination of down blankets, double sleeping bags, wool blankets, and so on. More storage bags above the bed. We keep cables here, fresh socks, and so on. And I think that's it, although I'm sure I forgot something. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section.